Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about electrolysis. Now we can figure out what electrolysis means just by looking at the word. The bit that says electro shows us we use electricity. And the bit that says lysis, lysis means either splitting or separating. So all it means is using electricity to split or separate a substance. Uh, the specific example that we're going to look at is with splitting potassium chloride. Now potassium chloride is an ionic compound that's held together by these strong ionic bonds. We might want to use electrolysis in order to get potassium all by itself, so we've got potassium metal all by itself, and to get chlorine gas all by itself. But at the moment, as we can see, they are not separated. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Because what we need for electrolysis to happen is we need a power supply, supplying electricity, or electric current rather, and we need two electrodes. These electrodes are often made out of things such as graphite. Um, it's important that they are um, inert or unreactive. So this electrode here is the positive one called the anode. So anode is positive and cathode is the name of the negative one. Now there's a nice way of remembering this by thinking of panic. Now panic helps us to remember because it helps us to think positive anode, negative is cathode. So this little thing here can help us remember which one of the electrodes is which. So in order to separate our potassium and our chlorine, we can't do it while uh, this substance is solid because they're held in place, the different um, ions are held in place by these strong ionic bonds. So the first thing we need to do is melt it. By melting it, we are breaking the bonds so these ions are free to move. Okay, so we have melted this potassium chloride so these ions are free to move. So, um, let's just have a think about what that is going to look like. So, we now have these electrodes dipped into our molten potassium and chloride. I'm just going to do a couple of each of the ions to show that they are now free to move because they are molten, because it's now a liquid, okay? Now, as soon as we start passing an electric current through, we're gonna have a particular thing happening. We are gonna have our ions moving to one or the other electrode. Now, the golden rule is opposites attract. So, this negative chloride ion is gonna be attracted to our positive anode, as is this here, and our positive potassium ions are going to be attracted to our negative cathode. Okay, now really quickly, just to explain why I know potassium has a plus charge and chlorine has a minus charge, if we cast our minds back, potassium is in group one of the periodic table, which means it needs to lose one electron to form an ion, therefore K plus. And chlorine is in group seven of the periodic table, so it needs to gain one electron to form an ion, therefore forming Cl minus. Please watch a video about forming ions or ionic bonding to get um, more explanation about that. So, we know at each of these electrodes, at this one here, potassium is gonna form, and at this one here, chlorine gas is gonna form. Now we need to know about the equations for each of these because there is, um, there's either electrons are being gained or lost at either of these different electrodes. Now there's a really nice way of remembering this, which is this acronym here called oil rig. Now what this stands for is oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Now you may be thinking, this is gain or loss of what? It's a gain or loss of electrons, okay? So, if we uh, lose electrons, it's oxidation. If we gain electrons, it's reduction. Now let's think about what's happening at the cathode right here. Now we have potassium ions, 
And I know for a fact that I'm going to eventually form solid potassium. And I'm going to do this either by gaining electrons or losing electrons. Now, if I look carefully at this, I can see that my potassium has a positive charge here. So I know, I know that electrons have a negative charge, so I know that I need to gain one electron in order to have someone positive and my negative balance out, cancel each other out, to form my potassium. Now, I've gained electrons, so I know for a fact that this here is an example of reduction. So what's happening at the anode? Now I know that I'm going to start off with chloride ions and I know that I'm going to produce chlorine gas. Now chlorine gas has the formula Cl2 so to balance that I know I need to put a 2 here. Right now am I going to have gained electrons or lost electrons? Now because it's negative I need to lose electrons, so lose that negativity, to get to this chlorine gas here. So to, to show that, I show that I started off with my chloride ions, and I ended up with chlorine plus these two electrons, because these electrons have been lost from these chloride ions. Now this, because I've lost electrons, I know for a fact that this process is oxidation. So just to recap, elect electrolysis means splitting of a compound using electricity. We have a positive anode and a negative cathode. Our sample needs to be melted in order to be separated. Um, and oxidation is lost, reduction is gain of electrons. And then here, a couple of examples of half equations at the bottom as well. Thank you.